So I've got her up in the air and uh, this is what we're going to be focusing on today is we're changing out the thermostat. I'm going to put all new antifreeze in it. Um, when I bought the car, it had the regular Prestone, you know, green antifreeze. I know you're supposed to use the G11, but like I said, when I bought the car, it already had the G11 or the regular antifreeze. So I'm just going to continue with that. Um, if I replace the radiator someday, um, I might go ahead and go with the G11 at that point, but for right now, we're going to use the cheap stuff. I just thought I'd give you guys a tour of everything <laughs> that looks rusted and busted down here. Hopefully it'll slowly but surely everything will start to look better and be newer parts under here but this is what we're dealing with right now so let's get to uh changing that thermostat out Several hours later. She's still peeing. Why will you not stop peeing? Oh no. I might have to stop it. Just so I can empty my my catch pan.
Okay, so the reason why I was having so much trouble in the last footage there was I didn't have this one. It was loose, so it was letting it slide around, but it wasn't all the way undone, which was causing it so it wouldn't come out. So it was the top one here. I had the bottom one already done. I didn't realize there was a top one. It didn't really specify in the manual too much. But yay, now we can finally see the thermostat housing. So we're going after these two bolts right there. <clears throat> And they're gonna be smaller than what I got out here. Watch. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a 10, 10 or 11. I have a 12. So there she is. Finally got to the thermostat. Let's uh, see if we can't pull it while I'm holding it. Holding the camera. It's gonna be kind of tricky. <laughs> came out and that looks pretty decent actually so let's take a look up in there I think the camera flipped on me but that's it let's put the new one in Alright guys, so we got all our supplies here. We got some new hose, better hose clamps, better than the factory ones. And then we also got our new thermostat and the o-ring for it. And of course we got some sealant, got some scrub brushes to scrub this down. This has been soaking in some soapy water. We'll get this all cleaned up. Get uh that pipe right there which is a coolant pipe solid metal coolant pipe and then go ahead and get all that up in there cleaned up as well so let's get to it
Okay guys, so we got the thermostat, thermostat housing in. Now we're gonna get to cleaning the bracket and all the bolts. I already sprayed them down once. As you can see, they look pretty nasty. So, got them all sprayed down, letting the brake clean kind of set in. I think I'm going to repaint this tube as well. I figure mine as well. So, I'm going to get to grinding.
Okay guys, so here's the fruits of my labor. I think I got it ready for the first coat. I'm gonna paint this pipe. Turned out pretty good. I think I'm just gonna not paint this, but I did all the screws, or bolts, sorry. So, got all that looking good. Really proud of the way that turned out. That's beautiful, nice Germany. So let's get painting, get to painting this tube. mostly dry it's not completely dry yet but it looks a heck of a lot better I definitely am getting my practice in and basically that's what I'm doing here like I've you know never really painted a whole lot of things in my life so at least not with spray paint so so this is practice for me so at the start of the next video, you guys will see all this installed, and everyone, please have a happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, including you, Dad. I love you.